Welcome, welcome, welcome. 7 p.m. on the dot, Eastern Standard Time. I got an epic TV show for y'all. I got an epic TV show for y'all tonight. So comment the word black. What's up, y'all? Y'all ready to learn? To get 50 to 90 percent off. What's up, y'all? What's up, y'all? How y'all feeling? How y'all feel? I'm just pinning something real quick, y'all. Comment the word black to get 50% off. All right, man, we got a major show for you tonight. <clears throat> What's going on, Drell? What's going on, Mac the Credit Tutor? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling? How y'all feeling, man? It's good to see y'all. Thank you for hopping on. So tonight we're going to go live with my guy, Wanzo. There we go. There we go. Yo, there we go. We got the background ready to go. <laughs> What's <laughs> up, Har? Bro, how you feeling? Hey, man, life is good. Life is good. Life is good. So listen, I'm giving the intro. I'm telling people what they're going to get tonight. Because Seven came on the other night and dropped some straight heat, right? Mm -hmm. So tonight, we got, we, got, we got Florida in the building, Fort Lauderdale. So tonight, we're going to talk about banks that at minimum, Everybody on this call, they're gonna get fifty bands, right? That's what we that's what we talking tonight, right? Yes, sir. And then if you stay on to the end, you gotta stay on for the end. We talking about getting paid for my student loans, like you got receipts, like you got checks. Something about that, bro. What what we doing at the end of the call? If they stay on, what they what you what we gonna talk about? If they stay on to the end of the call, what we do is we will actually tell them how they can go after the student loan services to actually get paid from them based upon the school or the institution that they attended. Wow. Wow. You're going to show them how to do that on the call. I can give them some advice on how to do it. In addition to, I have a list of schools for that. There we go. All right. All right. So listen, they, they tried to steal money from you with these schools. They tried to fugaze you. We're going to show you how to get that money back. And, and, and Wanzo, let me do a formal introduction, funding go on the call. Andre Wanzo, he has those receipts that he dropped in the Bellastone Academy. So that, that receipt's going to be crazy. So you got to stay on to the end of the call. So listen, everybody right now, get your paper, get your pen ready. We're in class right now. No motivational speaking. We're in class right now. My guy, Dr. Wanzo, right? My guy Wanzo is about to teach right now. Class is in se session. Share out this live right, right now. I'm definitely going to be dropping this one on YouTube because everybody's going to need this sauce, bro. Talk to the people about this. Wait, wait, before you go on, yeah. I need to give some, some, so yeah, I need to give some information. Go ahead. So Wando, Wanzo's going to give you the sauce on how to get at least 50000 right? He's going to give you the play-by-play, -play, right? He's going to give it to you with no gatekeeping tonight. So get your paper and pen, share this live out, right? And you're going to click that, that arrow button at the top of your screen, and you're going to follow Wanzo right now, all right? Make sure you guys follow him right now, because what's going to happen, bro? They're gonna they're gonna learn all this stuff. They're gonna their minds are gonna be blown by what you're gonna give them, and then they're gonna DM me. I'm like, no, no, no. Go in my man's DM, right? Bother him. <laughs> what was that third bank he said? Bro, go in his DM, right? I right. want you to follow yeah. him right now. And anybody who screenshots this live and you repost it and you tag me and my man Mr. Wanzo in this, you're going to be entered to get a free shelf corp. But as you know, guy, quick commercial break. If you comment the word black below, comment the word black right now. Y'all already know my Black Friday sale is starting. It is starting tonight, all right? So the Shelf Corps are on sale. Credit repair is half off. My mentorship is going from $1,000 to $50. We are building an amazing community. Mm. Tonight, we're just going to show you a little bit, just a little bit of access of what you get in this mentorship. We are planting seeds on tonight call because 2024 is the harvest and you want and, and we want you guys to be prepared. We want you guys to be prepared for what's coming. So comment the word black. So right now, bro, and this I tell people this is my freemium model. I'm telling you to give me a bag, but I gotta teach y'all how to get the bag. Right? right? So we're gonna show you how to get the bag. So he's so so Wanzo's gonna talk to you about funding, right? But I want you guys to remember for this to work, you need a good, you need a couple of things. You need a good credit score. You need a good credit profile, and your business needs to be structured properly. Good credit score, good credit profile, and your business needs to be structured properly. Good credit score is 680, but my executors 
just on this call, we're working to be in the 700 club. When you're in the 700 club and you got a good profile, sky's the limit. What's a good credit profile? Two to three credit cards minimum. $2,500 limit, two years old, usage is under 30%. I prefer it under 10%. No inquiries in the last six months. But if you're trying to get six figures in funding, I need credit cards. I need three to five credit cards. I need them to be between three to five to $10,000, right? I need those cards to be older. That's a sexier profile. So the higher your credit score, the lower the limits, the higher the, um, the lower the limits, the older the cards, the more funding you're going to get on the business side. That's why it's super crucial for me to get this information to you as soon as possible, because the earlier you get it, it's ball game, right? We're moving, we're moving in the business realm, not the personal realm anymore. We're transferring everything to our business name. So when, so a lot of people, Wanzo could, could show them like, listen, here's 40, 50, 60. Here's, 100, here's the blueprint to 100,000. So now you're going to refight. You're going to take all that debt that's on your personal and put it in the business name. Zero percent interest, right? Now you got cards. We can teach you how to liquidate in the mentorship. Take the cash off. There's so much we got to teach. Wanzo, that was enough of an intro. One of the funding goats on the East Coast. Listen. This guy dropped so much gems in my mentorship. I called him. I was like, bro, what's that new play? I ain't seen that one. <laughs> Wazo, talk to my people, right? Talk to the executors that's on the call right now, bro. What what banks you got for him, man? What's the sauce for tonight? Well, you know, I'm just kind of thank you for having me on the call, first of all. But I do want to tell the people, like, what you're teaching is, is total ex excellence, Appreciate for sure. Um, based upon your ability to show me some things and me to, you know, enhance some of those things that I've learned, it, it, propelled me to a whole nother level of the game. Mm -hmm. So much kudos to you. Absolutely. But I do, but I do want to let the people know like everything that you mentioned for us, like having yourself in line and look attracted to the base is very important. But even when you get to that point, you got to have some type of strategy. So I don't mind telling you about how to look at a strategy first and then how to manipulate these banks once you've got that strategy down packed. Mm -hmm. So one of the first things I always done when I went out to business funding, was understand products that didn't have, didn't require any inquiries as far as on the business side. Oh. Because if you don't need any inquiries, then you can sell those, you can save those inquiries for when you actually need them. Ooh. So, so I started off with two of the banks you kind of introduced me to, and that was Divi and Cap on Tap, okay? And what happened was Divi, when I first applied for them, they gave me $7,000, mm -hmm. right? What I did was I communicated with Divi. I gave him a call. I, I sent him an email and I said, hey, you know, $7,000 is not going to be enough to run a business. They end up increasing that limit to 56000 which I showed that and shared that with the, with the community as well. Yeah. With, All right. Mm -hmm. Just between Cap on Tap and Divi, because Cap on Tap gave me $30,000 when I applied. So just wow. between those two, I got $86,000 access. So, okay. you, so I got to interrupt. So real quick, this is, I want you guys to write down what he said. Number one, go after the banks that don't give you inquiries, right? That's number one. So he gave you two, Divi and Capital on Tap. Number two, this is important. Sometimes you get these limits and you're not happy with them. You heard what he said? He's like $7,000. This is a business. What am I going to do with $7,000? So this is what he did. He called the credit card company and he spoke to the reconsideration department and he told them this is not enough. So write that down, guys. Reconsideration department, because sometimes you get the limits and you're not happy with it. So you don't have to accept it. You can call them and be like, hey, I'm going to need more. And the reconsideration department can help you get a get a limit increase even before they mail the card out to you. So that's two major gems he just gave you. Write this stuff down, guys. We're going to blitz through them. What else you got, Doc? So... The other part of the strategy is to understand which banks that you can actually utilize and get multiple products for one inquiry. For example, um, there's banks out there that will hold your credit report for 30 days. So mm -hmm. if in fact you can have a bank that gives you um, a product like a credit card, one credit card, and you get a $25,000 limit, then you can go back that following week or the next two weeks and apply for another credit card with no inquiries attached to your credit report. This, got you, got you. I, you got, I got one bank, Herman, I got a quarter million dollars out of, literally. Out of one bank? Out of one bank. Ooh. Out of one bank. 
You gonna hold you gonna hold that one back, bro? You gonna, tell us, that one. You gonna hold that one back? <laughs> Offline. You gonna drop that in the mentorship. You gotta listen for that one. I, I a quarter million dollars out of one bank, okay? I'm not in plan. Because right? because you because what you're saying is the one inquiry, right? Basically double dipping, like my guy RB just said, that one inquiry, you can go back to the they already ran your credit, but they got other products you was able to tap into. Exactly. So they probably got like two or three credit cards. They probably got a line of credit, they probably got loans that you was able to double dip with that one inquiry. And the thing of it is, is that, you know, you have to understand what the products, what banks, what products do the banks have to offer? Because all the products might not fall in line with you, right? Right. So you got to understand what's going to be beneficial to you at that time. Okay. And don't just like when cards come to people with like offers and things like that, don't just always just jump at anything you get. Mm -hmm. Always utilize a strategy because some of these cards, like I don't, I don't have a discover card mm -hmm. at all. And the reason why they don't really give out a bag, right? But if you want to use a discover card for other purposes, like, you know, authorized users, things of that nature, that's always there, right? Because gotcha. they, they fall on your credit report real okay. quick. So anyway, the last part of this is the strategy is that the whole, once you get everything in line, you know, just as you teach yourself, go across the actual funding process horizontally when it comes to your inquiries, not vertically, right? Break that, so down. Get break, break that down for the people, bro. So fund yourself, write this down, guys. Fund yourself horizontally, not vertically. What that mean, bro? Basically, you got three major credit bureaus, right? Mm -hmm. You got Experian, you got Equifax, and you got TransUnion, right? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So those three credit bureaus, if you pull, if you're doing one inquiry per, per product mm -hmm. from each one of those credit bureaus, then you're not, you're not getting multiple products. You're not getting multiple inquiries in one vertical. Yeah, mm -hmm. like, like. Experian or, 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 or Equifax, you're getting them all the way across. Right. So it's a difference, right? And that's more beneficial to you because just think about what I said, right? I already said, go after the banks that don't require any inquiries. Now you go after the bank that require one inquiry with multiple products. That can just be with Experian, right? And mm. if you can get four cards out of Experian with one inquiry, $25,000 a piece, that's a hundred grand. That's a hundred grand, one inquiry. Right. On top of the 86 you just got from Divi and Capital Tap that don't pull your personal that credit. That don't pull your personal credit. And the one thing that I want them to understand too is that some of these financial institutions have their own scoring system. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. For example, Navy has their right. own scoring system. And when you have a company that has their own scoring system, they're not going to pull your credit. You can just apply for increases on a card or relationship that you already have many gotcha. times. Gotcha. That makes sense? Yes. Because they don't have to go out and, and get that information and retrieve that information. And that's why um, having relationship with these lenders are a major component in funding, guys. M make these banks, I already tell people, your banks should be your business partners. So have relationships with them. Because when you have a relationship with them, like American Express, they're not gonna give you an inquiry when you run it back with them. Because they're already doing soft pulls, you have a relationship with them, they're checking up on you, they're like, nah, he's good peoples, let's run it up again. Exactly. And and that's one of the other institutions that actually have their the ability to get um, money without actually any additional inquiries. So let's get to the, uh, the the good stuff, right? All right, let's get to we gave them the foundation. Let's get to the good <laughs> stuff. Let's get y'all ready. Right, right. <laughs> I, drop a fire emoji in the chat if your pen is in your hand and you're ready. Bye, boo. Write a fire emoji in the chat. I want to see. Make sure y'all ready. All right. I see a couple y'all just hopping on right now. We about to go into the banks. It's gonna give us a minimum of fifty thousand dollars. We already gave the foundation. Yes, I will re be reposting this on my YouTube and reposting this on the Instagram page so you guys can restudy it. All right, little hug. All right, I'll see. You. What's up, Britt? There you go. All right, we ready, bro. Talk to us. Okay, so we already talked about Capital Tap and Divi, right? Mm -hmm. So those are two of the banks that we already can actually go after to get some business funding. Keep in mind that you're going to have to put some type of money in those accounts because they're going to look at what's already in there, right? Right, right. But if you put a, if you put some type of minimum in there, you can use data points as 380 and 175. So the 380 would be at least what the bank, what the your company makes, and mm -hmm. they ask you what you make, you make 175. Those are the data points I mainly use for most of my banks, right? Okay. Based upon what I'm going for. Ameris Bank is one of my favorite banks, which I always mention to you, right? Ameris, Ameris Bank. Bank. Now, a M. Let me let me tell you how to spell it. A M E R I S. I don't even talk about Ameris Bank because I like to, I like to keep that one close to the chest. <laughs> Ameris Bank. Write that one down, bro. Where does Ameris Bank pull from? Ameris Bank. Ameris Bank pulls from TransUnion. TransUnion. A M E R I S. Ameris Bank is the first bank we're talking about tonight, bro. 
give, give us the, give us the play on them. So Ameris Bank is powered by Elon Financial, and Elon Financial is powered by powers of many different financial institutions. Ameris Bank is one of them, right? Mm -hmm. So Ameris Bank has a, a Visa business card. That Visa business card you can apply for, and they give you a minimum of twenty five thousand dollars. If in fact you have everything in place, like what you mentioned before, a great credit score and some type of history. Now, the benefit of dealing with a Marius bank is that you do not have to have an account. Ooh, ooh, and you, ooh. you can apply from anywhere. What do you mean I can apply from anywhere? Like you can apply from- From Philly. Right? Philly. You, you know so there's no, so I don't need a foreign entity. No. It doesn't matter where I live in the United States. No. I can apply for a Maris Bank that pulls from TransUnion. It doesn't matter where I'm at. That's correct. Oh, and, okay. Y'all writing that down? And the fact that matter, I did not put any money in their institution. Ooh. And you did that with no relationship. No relationship. See, one of the things I know, Herman, is that people, these banks and these institutions, they want to give you money. Mm -hmm. They just need to trust who they're going to give right. it to. Right. That's it. Facts. That's it. <laughs> They want to give you money, they just want to trust who they give it to. So so when I got a marriage bank, I also learned that Elon Financial also powers U.S. Bank. U.S. Bank. Uh-oh. Now. Here's another one. U.S. Bank will at least give you at least twenty to $25,000 as well, right? And because they're powered by, I mean, they're powered by Elon Financial, you can utilize those same data points that you did for a marriage bank. For a marriage which bank. Is a, which is 380 and a 175. Let's take a commercial break real quick because for real for real i think the call is over because you're already up to fifty thousand. <laughs> the wine's no way we're already up to fifty thousand. the wine's so... no way hey, that's the one listen no I forgot listen i think the part. call is done like i don't think you need to give them no more we said if you get on the call we're going to show you how to get a quick 50. i can't oh there you go you got the quick 50 piece so you're good right but listen we got to keep going bro we can keep going. We can probably go that tap into unless you want to start talking about the uh, the student loans. The student we can, loans. We can let's, hold let's, some other stuff let's keep, for later. Let's keep going on it. Let's 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 drop some heat on them. Listen, commercial break. I want you guys to tap the arrow button at the top of your screen. I want you to follow Andre Wanzo right now. The Wanzo way. He's going to show you how to get funded. To my people that was on the call from the beginning, the first thing we talked about is how to structure your business properly to get as much foundation, to get as much funding as possible. Then he told you, here's the, here's the path. Go to the banks that don't even require an inquiry, divvy and capital on tap. Then go to the banks, right, um, where you can get multiple products with one inquiry. Exactly. So you can get a quick 25, 30, 40,000, 50,000, because you can get two, three, four credit cards from one bank. And now he showed you how to get funding horizontally. We're going to go to Equifax banks, TransUnion banks, Experian banks. This is how you run it up and get as much funding as possible with low inquiries. And now he just gave you two Elon financial banks, Ameris Bank, where there's no geographical location. It doesn't matter where you are, right? It doesn't matter if you have a relationship with them. They're still going to give you a bag if you are set up properly and Ameris pulled from TransUnion. And U.S. Bank, the second bank he brought up, that pulls from TransUnion also, right, bro? Exactly. Exactly. Yes. Exactly. From I hope you guys are taking notes and sharing out this live. Listen, this is the gems we talk about. Wanzo is always blessing the Facebook group, um, the Bella Stone Academy Facebook group. I want you to comment the word black below. These are the gems that we give in the mentorship group where we communicate as a, as a family, right? So comment the word black right now so you can get access to all our Black Friday stuff, credit repair half off. The mentorship is not a thousand; it's going down to fifty dollars a month subscription. Mm, We're just giving away mm. the information because we want you guys to be in position for the win. Our shelf corps that are usually three, four, five bands, twenty five hundred dollars. Comment the word black so we can DM you the link. Let's go, let's go, Wanzo. What else we got for him? What's we gonna give him, bro? Well, I got one more bank for you, um, but I do want to tell you guys this: when you're utilizing this strategy, this is a process I take as well, right? Mm -hmm. You always go after. You always go after a credit card maybe first, then at the line of credit, and then the loans come last. Ooh. The reason why the loans come last because that is something that starts the payment the, the following month. And you don't get a loan unless you have something to do with it. 
right? A line of credit is going to sit there. A credit card could sit there. You can you can pay on those, right? But that loan, the, the clock starts ticking immediately. So those are last for me. Got always. you, got you. So, so the strategy is credit cards, lines of credit, and loans. Last. Right? That's how you should get funding because the credit cards and lines of credit, if you don't use it, you ain't got to pay nothing. But loans, that should be one of the last things you get because in the next first 30 days, you got to start paying on that whole loan. And exactly. if you don't got to play, that thing could eat you alive. Yeah, yeah it will. And the there benefit of having the benefit of but one of the benefits of having a loan versus a credit card is the fact that you don't have your you don't really have a utilization hit on a loan mm -hmm, mm -hmm. on your credit report. Right. You see, you see what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Because it's not a revolving credit. The money is already out. Gotcha. So just keep that in mind too, because that could be used as a strategy based upon certain scenarios. Gotcha. Right? You can go get a loan and and it's not going to affect your your actual utilization, and you mm -hmm. can use that to pay down something. Ooh, ooh, you give me too much sauce right All there. Right, Listen, I, I've been preaching that when you get these personal loans from SoFi, S O F I, or Lightstream, you get these personal loans to pay down your personal credit report, right? The credit card debt, your score jumps up. Now you can get better business funding prospects. Right. Exactly. And if you yeah. smart, you'll transfer that debt to the business side also. Now you now you totally clean. Do you have another bank, bro? I'm I'm gonna squeeze something out of you. You have another bank people can go to to get a personal loan to pay down personal credit card debt? A personal loan? Yeah. What's a good bank you think people can go to get a personal I mean, loan? You always talk about truest, right? But truest, truest, yep. True true is always given, but you know, one of the other banks that I utilize is uh well, I only have one personal I only have one business loan. Mm -hmm. At all. All the stuff I got, I only have one business. Business on me too. I got a bunch of lines of credit, credit cards. Yeah. I don't really mess with. Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't really mess with loans. So not too much on the loan side. But I do have one more bank for you guys to go to that you can potentially get a credit card, and that's Marcus Gold, Golden Sachs. Right? Okay. Marcus the, Golden Sachs. Yeah, that's the GM card. It's a okay. GM reward card. Talk right? to us about that, bro. Now, what happens is that they have a personal card and they have a business card. Now. On the personal side, you can apply for the credit card and they're gonna pull from Equifax. Okay. On the business side, they're gonna pull from TransUnion. TransUnion. Because they, Got you. they're gonna look at your, they're actually gonna look at your, your business profile. They're gonna actually pull your business credit. Look at your business credit. Ooh. Let me ooh, switch that, okay. that around. That was a mistake. Okay. They pulled from TransUnion on the personal side on the personal and they pull side. from Equifax on Equifax. the business side on the because they're going to look at your Equifax business score. Got you. Okay. Got you. So people need to keep that in mind, right? If your Equifax business score is up, then more than likely you're going to get that card. And, wow. and that card, card gives up about 20,000 as well. 20,000. So they actually pull your business credit report for the GM Goldman Sachs card. Yes. All right. So Goldman, G-O-L-D-M-A-N and then Sachs, S. A C H S. Correct. The GM Goldman Sachs card. There you go. Now, bro, do I need to have a relationship with this bank or I can just go online? You can just go online. I mean, I don't have a relationship with that bank at all. Wow. Listen, listen, I'm always <laughs> preaching relationship. And the Wanzo way is showing you you can get into some banks and they can give you up to twenty five thousand dollars, no relationship. That's excellent. Yeah. Bro. I only have one bank that I have that I actually bank with. And all the rest, I don't have, have any I don't have any money in those banks. And you have no money those Thanks, missing man. You found the backdoor hack the ones away, man. The ones <laughs> away. I love it. I love it. I, I love appreciate it. it, bro. I appreciate it. I love it. it. So listen, he just gave out three banks that gave way more than fifty thousand dollars. I want you guys to click on the arrow on the top. You guys, any more questions for my man, um, Mr. Wanzo, on how you can get more funding strategies and tips? He actually helps you get funding. Also, his funding receipts he drops in our Facebook group all the time. He's in our mentorship, one of our amazing, amazing partners in there. Definitely, definitely. What's up, Lamont? Definitely want you guys to participate in this group. Listen, comment the word black below. My mentorship, where all these gems where we give, like, all the time. And we got the screenshots because success has receipts. I want you to comment the word black below. Um, I'm going to post this on YouTube. If you're on YouTube, I'm going to put the link in the description so you can join the mentorship for only $50 a month. And we're going to crush it. We're doing three phone calls every single month teaching putting you guys in position this is the most important phone call i want to say this this is the most important phone call i'm doing bro and i definitely want you to be on this call in december i'm having a trust and a wealth expert 
to come on to the call for our December coaching call. It's our mastermind call okay. where they're going to teach and get everybody ready for the corporate transparency act that is changing in January. So I know everybody's nervous about that. Let, I'm going to bring an expert on to teach our community what to do and what to be prepared for. Because everybody's nervous. Oh my God, Herman, what am I supposed to do with my LLC? I'm going to go to jail. I'm going to get all these fines. That's what we're here to do. We're here to teach. So if you are in the mentorship, that's going to be the first call that happens in December. All right, bro. I see people in the comments. They talking about what's going on with these student loans you was, you was promoting. Like, what happened? I could get a check. What are you talking about, bro? For the people that stayed on this long, talk to us, bro, about what's going on with these student loans. When we saw you drop these checks in the in the Facebook group, because you before you start promoting stuff, you have to show receipts. Talk to the people about what's going on with that, bro. So there's a number of schools that conducted misconduct within their within their duration of mm -hmm. teaching, right? Mm -hmm. So to speak. Mm -hmm. And because they mis they did a misconduct, they got fined and they have to return money to people who they misled. Oh. Okay. Okay. So some of these alleged universities. Exactly. Okay. So what happened is that you got some what you call a promissory note. It's two ways to do this, first of all. It's two ways to do this. You got some what you call a promissory note. You know what a promissory note is. It's an agreement that you have with two different parties, right? Mm -hmm. And so if, in fact, you ask for your promissory note from an educational institution, mm -hmm. many a times they don't have it. They don't have it. Write this down. They don't have Go it. Go ahead, bro. Because I got, what was it, like 75000 or something like that erased, and they sent me a check. So you got to think about it, bro, right? bro, 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 bro. You can't talk crazy like that on the internet, bro. I keep telling y'all when I go live with y'all, stop doing that. You can get my stuff shadow banned. My Dang. fault, bro. Chill. All right, I got it. Seventy-five thousand <laughs> erased, right. yeah. and they paid you. Yeah. Talk to them. Yeah. And talk to the people. And so what happened is that these 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 institutions did misconduct, and once you figure out that they did something wrong. Then you can sign up with this called the um, uh, what is it called? The Borrowers Defense Program. The Borrowers Defense, Defense Program. Program. Write it yeah. down. Go ahead, bro. The Borrowers Defense Program actually goes after those particular schools that misled people, like for example, the University of Phoenix. Ooh. Right. Ooh. Shots fired. You. Oh, my fault. <laughs> I got my PhD from there, bro. What you talking about? Go well, ahead. Hey, hey, well, if you got something, you can, you can get off all of it. I can right, you, right, 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 right. <laughs> I'm just trying to tell you, right? Mm -hmm. And so what happened is that they told, told people they had a job placement program, mm -hmm. right? And because they were leading people with that, that gave them the opportunity to get people enrolled. In fact, and they knew they did not have that in place. Because they were misleading, got you. Thank you, um, Biz Credit Brittany, for the badge. We truly appreciate you. Thank you for that. That means a lot. So because they say, it's like, oh, we can get you job placement, it was false advertising. Exactly. And they put people in debt, which start to affect their livelihood. Got, got you. They could have had the because opportunity to go to an institution that actually provided the services that they actually said they had versus somebody that was misleading them, just trying to get you in for their own financial benefit. Let me ask you something. Is is DeVry on that list? Yes, they are. DeVry is on that list. So I remember I got approved for DeVry back in the day, but I ended up going to Temple University. I was like, let me no, stop being cheap. No, the, and I went DeVry, to Temple University. DeVry, DeVry is on, on that, that list. list. And the, for the people that's not in Herman's group, you need to join that group because I actually put that list within the group. <laughs> this way, so you guys need to be part of the mentorship, right? All the mentees, they come together as a family and they're like, yo, I got a new gem and they drop it in there. Everybody runs the play and we grow as a family. And that's only $50 a month. The first call in the month is accountability call where we make sure you, we hold you guys accountable. Cause sometimes y'all buy all these programs and y'all don't do nothing. Yeah. Oh no, we on that ass. Right. Yo, first call of the month, first call of the month, get on the call. We want to make sure you guys are doing what you need to be doing. Second call of the month, you're talking to me, right? We hop on the call. I give you new gems that I don't give online. You ask me the questions. It's called, what have you done lately? Where in order for you to ask me a question, I'm asking you what you did. And the third call a month that we do is called our mastermind call, where we have a master come out and give you guys gems. So next month, we have an amazing master coming out to show you how to be. There's a trust expert. Did you know that there's 80 type of trust? I know all over the internet, they're mm. making it seem like there's one type of trust, two type of trust. 
where it's like oh, irrevocable and revocable. No, there's many type of trusts. So we got to get an expert on there to give you guys this gem, right? So that's going to be our mastermind call in, in, um, in, um, in, in December. January's mastermind call, I already, I already um, got it. We got my man, Mr. Young. He's a tax strategist. He's going to show you how to pay down your debt without getting a second job. He's going to show you how to do that in January. I want you to comment the word black right now so you get access to the mentorship. Comment the word black. The Black Friday starts right now. You want Shelf Corpse, 2500 Credit repair, half off. It's only 497 and so much more. So comment the word black now. It's time for you guys to execute. But right now, the Wanzo way, click that arrow right there. I'm pointing at my arrow. Click that. And I want you guys to follow him, DM him, and bother him. Because I know with the student loan thing, your DM's going to go crazy. Oh, Thank you, Dancer for Rhea, for buying me a badge. I truly appreciate that. So, bro, so There's these... One more these banks that are misleading us, I mean, these student, um, these, these universities that were misleading us, not only can we get that negative item or those student loans off of our credit report, but they can also pay us for misleading us. And you have that list, bro? I do. And that list is see, in the Facebook group? It's in the Facebook group. I put it all out there, right? Right. And not only that, Herman, so it's two ways of doing that. That's one way, mm -hmm. right? So let me give you another way, right? Well, Ooh, outside, gonna, outside, oh, more outside, sauce. Let's get it. Outside of using that. So when, when you sign a promissory note, I told you they're not going to have it, right? Say so they're going to make one up. I'm going to give you a true story, right? What happened is that, yeah, they're going to make one up. So now you, you're fabricating you know, the truth. It's yeah, yeah. fraud. Yeah, so now it's fraud. It's straight fraud. That's what exactly what it is, right? And what happens is that when you ask for that promissory note, they're going to make one up. They're not going to have it. They're going to take and put people on that promissory note that you don't even know and they're going to make some mistakes that's so bad they just look ri ridiculous so let me get to the point let me let me really help you understand what i'm saying mm -hmm. when you ask for a reference that is an outside party and not yourself somebody has to reference another person correct mm -hmm. okay. yeah 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 on a promissory note on my promissory note i'll use myself as an example it had me as a reference on your own promissory note, it has you, it had you as a I, reference. Me as a reference, and it had my daughter who was a child as a second reference. Wow. wow. Fraud. Crazy fraud. Who who filled out that paperwork? Not only that, you gotta understand and look at the details because even the zip codes alone could be changed to look different because they're they're searching on how to make this promissory note look right. Look right. Okay. So it's very important. I had another guy I was helping with this, right? I said, ask him for your promissory note. He said, bro, they had a school on there that I didn't even attend wow. at all. So it's easy to request those records and show they didn't go there, but that's on the promissory note. So now if you don't have a promissory note, I don't really owe you any debt because we don't have any legal bonding agreement. Right, that's important guys. No promissory note, I ain't got nothing. The burden of proof is on them. Exactly. I owe you money, you got to prove it. There's no promissory note, I don't owe you nothing. Get that off my credit report. So that's 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 the second way of doing that. But it takes time, right? So you're going to have to go back and mm -hmm. forth, right? And then what you want to do, once you start to go through this process, you, you got to communicate with the you know Consumer Financial Protection Bureau, and then you got to put a letter together and ask for the, what was it? I'll put um, indebtedness. The indebtedness. Right? Right. Write that down. Indebtedness. Give me the original instrument of indebtedness. Give, give me the original and, instrument of indebtedness. Exactly. Write this down. Because you have to prove to me that I owe you debt. Because you got it on my credit report, TransUnion, Equifax, and Experian. So University of Phoenix, give me the original document. And I'm going to CC um transunion equifax and experience on that you see they ain't got the paperwork you can't report it to my credit profile no. now we're going no. down on the rabbit hole technically you're not supposed to report anything on my credit report without my permission but you are technically sounds like a lawsuit thank you sterling for putting that in the chat all right screenshot that guys that's dope that's the gem right there bro he's giving y'all the blueprint yeah. he's giving y'all yeah. the blueprint go ahead bro and so that's pretty much once once you once you ask for that instrument of indebt it's a letter that you send to the actual loan servicer. Mm, what you mean by that, bro? Break that down for us. The actual the loan, loan servicer. The loan servicer 
is the one that collects the money for the federal government. Got like, you. Like Nelnet, right? You know, Nelnet is a loan servicer, and they collect the the money. They they put the portal together for you to do last to make the payments. Right. All right. They're not going to have that paperwork. Okay. Ah. Okay. Now. So whole, how is know, Nelnet? collecting my debt if they don't have proof or documentation to collect my debt. Exactly. Y'all y'all listening. Okay, go ahead, bro. Now, the other thing that I want people to understand too, because they, you know, a lot of people might say, well, why is it so difficult to get rid of these student loans? You have to understand that student loan services are on the stock market. <laughs> rabbit hole, going down the rabbit hole. They're on the stock market, bro. So if they're on the stock market, now you got investors that can potentially lose all this money. That's why it's so difficult to let them go. Because they're going to fight back. They're going to fight back. And that's why you see the Republicans doing stuff like, nah, they need to pay. Because to then pay. all their partners will lose tons and tons of money. Wow. 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 It's so no that's, why, that's why a lot of them, the, oh, wow, this is wild. This is why they won't cancel student loan debt. Biden was trying to push that. Through Republicans is like, nah, you gotta pay that bread. Yeah. Because it's business. It's business. big business. Tr listen, we're talking trillions and trillions of dollars. You know what I we're just teach gonna, people? We're just gonna wipe away. You tripping. You know how I teach people, Harmon, when they come to me? Mm -hmm. In order to defeat something, you need to know how it works. Right. Right. See what I'm saying? So I do a lot of studying on how things apply to each other, you know, and how it's gonna make a ripple or snowball effect. Right. Right. And so once you learn where it originates from and where to end up at, and you know with any, everything in between, now you know how to resolve it. Where, it, listen, you said a crazy gem, <laughs> where it originates from and where it ends up. Know where it starts and where it begins. Once you understand that, figure out the connection, then it's ball game. Now you know how to break it down. Yeah. Now I know the laws. So everybody that's worried about the Corporate Transparency Act in January, I was telling people, I was like, you think Congress passed the law that's going to shoot themselves in the foot? They're all businessmen. They're all lawyers. Yeah. They already got the backdoor strategy on how to continue to keep their LLCs and their businesses, their corporations private. They already yeah. got that. You just don't know it. We're going to talk about that in the mentorship. At We're going to talk about that because you need that information in order to move correctly. Find the genesis, find the exit, and learn what's going on in the middle. And I like what you said, bro. You was like, Herman, I have to study it. I have yeah. to study study it let me tell you why something why that's important what you say i tell people all the time you gonna pay i want you guys to write this down you're gonna pay you're gonna pay with your time or you're gonna pay with your money right either you're gonna pay somebody to teach you the game or you're gonna you're gonna go down a rabbit hole and study it on your own so you're that means you're gonna pay with your what your time you're gonna pay one of two ways you got to decide what you want to do all right so my man's like herman i'm gonna go study it i i have a little time on my hand i'm gonna go study it myself and now we talking about the certificates of indebtedness. We talking about these student loans that we can get back by these institutions that have been scamming us out of our money because they say, oh, we, we'll, we'll give you a doctorate, right, for like $15 and we'll help you get the job and the university closed down. Remember all those um, Phoenix University of Phoenix commercials? Yeah. <laughs> the Bowl? Where they at? Now I'm people literally you. have degrees that they cannot use. Ah, but the thing of it is, is you know that whatever institution you got went to and if it has a you know a program that gave you some type of education you still had a, a, a some that you stole for free mm -hmm. right although they was in violation right, right, right? right and so you had a way out of it right but at the end of the day they didn't they can't mislead you into an institution where you could have actually went to one that was going to provide you all the services that they actually promote wow that's everybody dropping everybody dropping those universities in the chat kaplan university that's i think um everest yo you remember you remember the everest there. commercial oh my god listen man comment the word black below, below more of these gems inside of mentorship black friday has already started it's starting tonight right now comment the word black so we can bless you bro they said they had mad jingles bro these are crazy gems listen i want you to tell, tell them tell them your, before you go further tell them your instagram real quick bro and how they can get in touch with my you. Instagram Instagram is a underscore Wanzo. So that's a underscore W A N Z O. And you just DM me there, or you can give me a call at 888-535-0302. That sounds like a business phone number. Say it again, bro. 888-535-0302. Let's get it. Let's get it. That's a business phone number. I want y'all to comment. 
the word black before below so we can join this community together and continue to grow and get these gems click the arrow above and i want you guys to follow my man wanzo right now bro what other gems you got for these people before we wrap up the call for tonight um, I mean, if I start going too much deeper, man, we ain't gonna have nothing left. I got, I got a lot of stuff, man. But you know what I do want to say oh, this though, real quick. To me, bro. And this is just on the credit side, right? On the like credit repair side. One thing you guys should understand is like, again, in order to pee something, you gotta know how it works, right? Mm -hmm. So we all by now know what the Consumer Financial Protection Bureau is, yep. right? And we'd be looking for ways to get stuff of our credit. So we might go to the Consumer Financial Bureau to actually make a complaint. But what we don't do is go and look at the cases that already been resolved and the people they have sued and how did they sue them and why. So mm. let me tell you why that's important, right? For example, I never paid any collections for any of my clients when I was doing credit repair, right? Right, right, right. Now, right. I got them all off, right? Because one of the things you got to understand is that most collection agencies mm -hmm. require, they send out mail to notify you that you have a debt. At least they supposed to. They supposed right? to, right. And they supposed to send out that mail within the first five days of receiving your account. Okay. First five days. So of the, moment, your account. the moment Bella's own collection agency purchases your debt from T Mobile or from Capital One, whatever, the law says they have five days to inform Andre Wands. Right. Got you. Now, most of the these collection agencies get that debt for four cents on the dollar. Four cents on the dollar. So, so a hundred dollar debt they bought for like four dollars. That's it. So, because and the reason why they 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 bought it that cheap because you know they 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 wrote it off. The other the company wrote it off, right? Other and company they, they, wrote it off, and, and so they, the insurance and, policy paid them off, or right. they took a loss. Right. They took a deduction on their taxes, so they're good. They're good. So the collection. Now, an agency now buys it for cheap because they can make a couple dollars on the debt. The thing, Even if they sold it for know. half off, the paper is worth a hundred. They bought it for four dollars. Now you got if, it. If you settle for fifty dollars, they still win, and you think you won too because you're like, damn, I owed a hundred, but I only gave them fifty. I'm up. Now you Wrong. got it. Wrong. Now you got it. Right. Because they didn't pay that much for it. That's why they said, well, we'll, 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 you know, we'll, we'll negotiate. We'll cut half of it off. Yeah, we'll you cut know? half of Something it. We'll like negotiate. That. But here's the key. This is my point I wanted to make. Because they're not, they're not sure if they were going to recoup that money. Mm -hmm. When they send out mail, they send out snail mail, which mm -hmm. is regular mail, right? Mm -hmm. How many times have you got somebody else's mail in your mailbox? Oh, right, 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 right. Got you. Okay. Got you. How many times? So, so you figure if a collection agency sends you mail although you got it you really didn't get it because they don't have no way that you actually to prove that you actually got the mail unless they send certified mail most certified mail letters come cost about six to seven dollars so they're not about that you got 500 letters to send out they're not about to put six to seven dollars on 500 on 500 envelope 500 envelopes in them out gotcha. because they might not recoup their money they money it's, so, it's not worth it to them Right. So one way to get that off your credit report is to say, I'm unaware of this debt. I've never received any type of notification that I owe this debt. And you can't put some of my credit report that I didn't have the opportunity to correct before you did it. Before now, you did it. If in fact you you think if in fact you're saying that you did send me notification, then provide me proof the certified receipt that I signed that shows that I was aware of this debt. Well, and they're wow. not going to have it. And they're not going to have it. And that's how you fight, fight to get. That's another strategy to fight to get the collection off. Yeah, I saw what you just did. That's it. Two, two weeks. Two weeks. Two weeks. Long. Yep. That's the way man. it works. Man, 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 man. <laughs> Listen, I see them in the comments right now. The fire emoji's going, bro. Give them your phone number again, bro. What's your phone number for they can tap in with you? It's 888-535-0302. And you can hit me up on IG, A underscore Wanzo. That's A underscore W-A-N-Z-O. Just send me a DM. I'll send you a link so we can do a, you know, one-on-one -on -one session call and go from there. Let's get it. Let's get it. Let's get it. Listen, guys, comment the word black below. I'm about to post this on YouTube. You're going to see the link in the description because in the comments on my YouTube page, they be putting black. But I want you to just click on the link on YouTube. 
I appreciate you, Wanzo, for coming on here and teaching people. You you gave them, you over-delivered. We taught, we said we was going to give them 50. You showed them how to get 100. You gave them the, the blueprint on, on getting collections off. You showed them about, you talked to them about these student loans, how we can get them off the credit report and get them paid for doing it because you can sue them for doing it. Give your number one more time, bro, so that people can tap in with you. It's 888-535-0302. And again, you can reach me at IG as well as A underscore Wanzo, W-A-N-Z-O. Listen, man. And, and, and Wanzo, the Wanzo way is in our private Facebook group where we talk about these gems all the time. We look forward to seeing you guys on December's call where we're going to show you how to take care of the foreign, the, the Corporate Transparency Act that got everybody shook. This is what the Bellastone Academy is all about. We're building up a family. So comment the word black below. We are going to send you the link for all of our sales and becoming part of a mentorship that used to be a thousand, but now it's going to be $50 a month. And we're going to grow this together epically, bro. I truly appreciate you. I'm going to put this live on IG. I'm going to make you a collaborator so you can put it on your page too. All right. Because they're going to be in the comments and we want to make sure we talk to the people. For sure. Right. We we'll have to do it again sometime. Soon. Yeah, we're going to do it again, bro, for the people. I appreciate you so much, bro. Have a wonderful evening. Peace. Peace.